Now, Mark Schroeder had a brief lead after the first round of votes was counted tonight, but he was unable to upset the mayor, who has already been in office for the last 12 years. News 4's Dave Graber continues our live team coverage now with Mark Schroeder. Dave? Well, Jackie, good evening. Uh, after thanking just about every single person uh, in the room in a, uh, in a very detailed and uh, enthusiastic speech, Mark Schroeder uh, told the crowd here that gathered at uh, Tewksbury that he did indeed call uh, Mayor Byron Brown and uh, wish him congratulations on a hard-fought campaign. Speaking of that hard-fought campaign that was launched by Mark Schroeder back in March, uh, you made a very important effort by getting out the vote going door to door and talking to people, meeting them where they're at. Sure. Talk a little bit about that effort that, that you and, and your campaign put forth over the past 120 days. Yeah. We, we thought it was uh, very important right from the beginning um, that I, if I was going to run for mayor, we had to have a very clear message. And I knew right from the beginning that Buffalonians are very grateful for downtown development and waterfront development. But I know from being the Buffalo City Controller over the last five years, I go to every single neighborhood in the city of Buffalo and I am better for it. And I've seen things that has to change. And so I decided to stand up and to go door to door and to ask people if they would vote for me. And we waged a very spirited campaign. We had a campaign going on the social media. We had the campaign going on the old-fashioned way, knocking on doors. I went to parades. Um, I did everything that I had to do in order to present myself to the voters. I feel very comfortable. I feel very good. Uh, back in, when I was in sixth grade, the principal of public school 72 said to me, Mr. Schroeder, did you do your best today? I did my best. I did the best that I could do. My staff is incredible. They're mostly very young people and they're believers, and they knew the message that we were giving is real, that there are neighborhoods that are falling over. There are east side neighborhoods, west side, Kaisertown, Black Rock, Riverside. They need help, and we did the right thing by waging this campaign. You talked a lot of to, to these supporters that despite this loss, you really believe in many areas you came away the victor. Why do you believe you won in some areas of this campaign? Oh, yeah. I, I feel in my heart, I mean, listen, I'm pragmatic. I know that the race is over. I know that the mayor won. But what I told the folks here tonight, we won. Why did we won? Why did we win? The reason why we won tonight is because we challenged an incumbent 12-year mayor. No politician in this town should have an easy way of it. We should talk about the real issues that are going on, and we did during two debates. We should have done more debates, because then the message in terms of what's happening in the neighborhoods, maybe it would, it would sink in to a lot of these politicians who are running City Hall. And so we, we were very, very comfortable. I told all the people here that I'm, I'm proud of all of us, the way we ran this campaign, and we clearly won tonight because we stood up and we ran the best campaign that we could. And lastly, real quick question, while you did lose on the Democratic line, you did win on the reform line. Do you intend to take that into November and still show up on the reform line, or do you bow to voters' choice tonight? Yeah, so, so I, I didn't even know um, I was in a primary in the reform line. And so I haven't really analyzed it. I, I am told that we did win the reform line. And out of respect to the party, because I was the endorsed candidate, uh, I will be talking to them over the next couple of days. But tonight is the primary night, and I wanted to just really focus in on this race uh, and what we did uh, over the last six months, and I wanted to concentrate on my friends and family who supported me. Very good. Okay. Mark Schroeder, thank you very much. Congratulations on a hard-fought campaign. Thank you. Thanks very much. Well, you just heard from uh, Mark Schroeder. We're going to be talking more uh, about this, uh, this campaign, uh, both uh, on air and on our website. But for now, we're reporting live on the south side of Buffalo. Dave Graber, News 4 at 11.